there! Have you been faithfully doing everything that I included here? I hope not. It's outdated and many stuff's changed with the recent update of the game. So please stop some drying your fishes. I'm sorry. But you can still do the mining and animal techniques that I mentioned in this guide. They weren't affected at all. The only ones that we should be concerned about are fishing and processing techniques. So for today, we'll be talking about all those contribution changes. Don't forget to boot that like and subscribe for more indie game guides like this. Now let's go! Let's first talk about fishes. For some reason, the base prices of fishes has been lowered which forces you to actually process them to largely increase their prices. And though the prices of smoked fishes are higher compared to what it originally was, there's no denying that pickled fishes are still the most profitable, with fermented ones taking the second spot. Of course, pickling still takes a lengthy process of juicing, turning them into wine, turning them into vinegar, and starting the actual pickling. It's not worth all the trouble if you'll be pickling common fishes and earning just 90 contributions after all that effort. So instead, pickle the rare fishes only, because that gives the highest contribution jump compared to other processors. Take a look at the price jump when you pickle fishes versus when you choose to sun dry, smoke, or ferment them. Here's for common fishes, and here's for rare fishes. You see what I mean? If you've got tons of common fishes though, throw all of them at the fermenter for a quick profit. It doesn't matter how much their base contribution is, as the fermenter will definitely increase it many folds. Plus, the fermenter finishes rather quickly. So yep, fishing is still super worth it as long as you process the fishes. As for other processors, their product prices increases in order. For crops and fishes, fermenting and pickling are still the best methods. For eggs, they can still be pickled or turned into mayo. I honestly prefer to just turn them into mayo though, as the prices of pickled eggs are worth so less compared to pickled fishes. It's better to use the vinegar for crops or fishes if possible, but if you've got tons to spare, then consider pickling eggs too for maximum profit. Lastly, let's talk about how the vinegar mechanics has changed. Back then, we can only use the vinegar once for pickling, but we can use it multiple times now. Its usage is determined by the quality and price of the crop that you use to make vinegars. For example, you can only use the vinegar twice if you use the normal quality crop of low value, like this tomato vinegar. But if you use beets, which are of higher price crops, then you're able to maximize the usage of the vinegar up to 5 times. This is actually a pretty cool update. We won't need to use all of this much then. Or we can just process our crops into vinegars and sell the excess if our picklers are still occupied or something. Either way, it just means that we'd end up with less cost and more profit. And that's pretty much it. Remember that you can still do the mining and animal techniques that I mentioned in this guide, and head over to this next video if you want to try your luck on getting free indie games. Win yourself some Roots of Pachkeys! Come on! Don't forget to boop that like and subscribe for more indie game guides coming your way. Bye bye